Hey you guys, so I'm back today with another video and this go around I'm gonna be discussing and showing you my 20 natural hair care products that I cannot live without. Now one thing I want to clarify because as someone who has reviewed literally hundreds of products, I don't like to say that this is my favorite product, product because honestly some of these are not my favorite products. But due to conveniency and price, which is big for me, um, I would prefer this over let's say give me an example the giovanni direct leave-in in my opinion is one of the best leave-in conditioners for natural hair however i only purchase that two to three times a year whereas a can two leave-in or even a lot of body leave-in i will consistently purchase that throughout the year because it's more affordable if that makes sense i just have to break that down um these are not my favorites these are staples for me i buy them consistently throughout the year i have everything here from oils to leave-in conditioner shampoos deep conditioner so i wanted to give you a variety of different things i will try to have as much information below in the description box 90 percent of the items i'm showing you i've either reviewed I've done some type of styling, um, styling tutorial, whatever on it. So let's just go ahead and get, get started. Not in any particular order. I wanted to group these by, but now what I am going to do is have, have timestamps for every product because this is going to be a lengthy video. So starting with one of my favorites, the Queen Helen Super Cholesterol hair conditioning cream. This is the gigantic size, it's two pounds. I purchased it through amazon.com. It is a very, very thick cholesterol. And those of you who don't know, cholesterols tend to have protein in it, in it, excuse me. Um, I like to add different things to this particular um, cholesterol. Um, my go-to DIY deep conditioner, I will be linking in the cards. So a new product I've been using over the course of the past two or three months, the Wet Line Extreme Gel. When I tell you Wet Line Extreme Gel, in my opinion, I don't want to say it has its pros and cons over Echo Styler Gel. Echo Styler is just so drying on the hair. It is so drying, but the definition is there. Um, I prefer the Wet Line Extreme Gel on my son's hair and on my hair. And I find that the combination, let me put it like this, I will say this. Compared to combining gels with other products, this one does remarkably well. Um, so just to read on the side here is aloe vera, no residues, alcohol free with UV filter. And I purchased this, I think I purchased this online, but you could find this just about anywhere. I found it at my local grocery store at Albertsons and it was like $3 and some change for this huge container. Like seriously, it was less than four bucks, okay? So Bay from me, when it comes to rinse out conditioners, she can never go wrong. Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner. You know what, as much as I talk about this particular conditioner, I don't think I have an official review for this, which is funny to me, I don't think I do. Um, I have, gosh, I, I did a series, excuse me, of um, comparing a bunch of drugstore conditioners and this was, wasn't a part of it. But there are no parabens, there are no dyes, moisturizing conditioner. This is a awesome, awesome rinse out conditioner. I honestly think that this would be perfect also for a deep conditioner. But with that being said, um, they do offer these packets here almond and shea butter deep conditioning mask now let's do something real quick i'm not trying to go come for you suave but i'm just going to compare the ingredients real quick to see if y'all really did change some stuff mm -mm, see no overall <laughs> overall the ingredients are fairly I, I can see the main difference so far no nah, no nah. the main difference so far is just the order of the ingredients but but just a quick glance at it, it's the same thing. A lot of companies do that. They will repackage um, this into a deep conditioner, maybe add some food color, I should say, maybe add some dye or add a little bit more shea butter. And now we have a mask that we can up by a dollar or 50 cents. You know what I mean? So I'm not complaining. I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> I'm not gonna include this in my top 20, but I just wanted to show you that they do have a deep conditioner. Um, next up we have, as I am, Long and Lux Grow Yogurt Leave-In Conditioner. That's what it looks like. I purchased this from my local Sally's Beauty. 
Now, I prefer the Long and Lux line over the original formula by As I Am. Not to say that that line, excuse me, that collection works just as well, but the Grow Yogurt Leave-In Conditioner is awesome and I'm, I'm out too. So it says pomegranate and passion fruit. This is a leave-in conditioner, by the way. Very nice, the entire line. It, rem it smells like holidays, Christmas. It smells like I need a lot of presents. <laughs> It just smells really good. I really do like this line by As I Am. And I do have a video on this one too. So next up we have TGIN. TGIN, you guys, I will say, and I'm just gonna be honest, I do believe in being as transparent as possible with my audience because I expect that from other people that I watch, okay? Um, TGIN was one of the first companies that sent me products. And because of that, I am a little bit biased towards them. Um, I've spoken to Christia, who is the owner and founder of TGIN several times. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I really do have a soft spot for them. However, with that being said, their products are, are awesome too. So we have their moisture-free, sulfate-free shampoo with amla oil and coconut oil. Love, love, love. One of the other things I really do appreciate about TGIN, they are one of the few um, natural hair product companies out there that offer samples, okay? Um, so yes, yes, yes. I think that out of all the products, I may be jumping the gun. <coughs> I think that this is probably my pricier one. Keeping along the TGIN collection, I have their Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Now, I also have her Twist and Define Cream. Now, you guys, I feel like her Twist and Define Cream is stickier. It's a stickier consistency. The buttercream is smoother, if that makes sense. It's not as sticky, okay? And the buttercream is made with shea butter and vitamin E. Now, we have seen these products at Target, at Sally's. Of course, she can purchase them online, and I really do love them. She's actually having a sale right now. I'm not sure how soon I'm gonna upload this video, but I did get an email about their Memorial Day sale, so. So now moving along towards some oils and I guess more natural products. I do a lot of DIYs, you guys. Um, my best styling product for me right now is my DIY mango buttercream. Yes, this is the bomb. Um, of course, all of my deep conditioners or a DIY. So I tend to have a lot of oil, shea butter, just butters on hand. We have Jamaican black castor oil and I know that's kind of like zooming in and out. Me personally, I prefer Jamaican black castor oil over castor oil. And I do have a comparison video of those two type of oils, the differences, okay? And I'm kind of weird in that <laughs> I like the smell of Jamaican black castor oil. I don't know what it is. I like the smell of it. Um, I use just a little bit. This is a very, very thick oil. So if you have fine strands, I mean, this oil is thicker than olive oil, just a little bit thicker than olive oil. If you have fine strands, I would be very careful with the amount of black castor oil, uh, excuse me, castor oil in general that you would use. Um, I tend to mix this product, excuse me, this oil, my oils in general. I will say when I had postpartum shedding with JB, which I honestly had a little bit, and it was just on this side. Um, I used to making black castor oil and of course my hormones even now tell you I was at peace at one point and so my edges grew back but I really do think Jamaican and black castor oil aided in that. Along oils we have jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is bay for me as far as oils go. Um, I think second behind jojoba oil would be sweet almond oil. I use jojoba oil for my body, skin, uh, and of course my hair. It has so many benefits. I purchased this through um, Amazon, by the way. Most of my oils, oils I get on Amazon and my butters, I just get on, on Amazon because it's just so convenient to do that. <coughs> Next up, we have raw African shea butter. Okay, I also purchased this through Amazon. I do have a video on a DIY recipe for a leave-in conditioner, a um, deep conditioner, and of course a buttercream. I also think I have one on eczema cream. When I, doing the fall or winter, when it's cooling here in Phoenix, my little boy and I, JD and I, our eczema flares up, of course, like anywhere. And so I use raw shea butter along with coconut oil and a really good moisturizing lotion, okay? So I love raw shea butter, I absolutely love it. I've had this for a while now because now I'm kind of falling in love with mango butter. All right, let's get to my next bag here. See, I'm, I'm kind of getting out of order. 
because I see another swab here, but it's okay. So now we have the Real Protein Treatment by the Green Beauty Channel. I know most of you are aware of her. I still say today, till today, this sister is one of the most underrated content creators, YouTubers, influencers out there. Um, I think she deserves a million subscribers. She listens to her audience. It's just that the information that she provides, it's just so professionally done. I love the animations. It's very well thought of. I will say this too. She did a video. She has a series on discovering your density. And I love the fact that she addressed women with fine hair. Because oftentimes, you. <laughs> As someone who has thick hair, I know I have a lot of people who watch me like, oh, I wish I had your hair. You need to be okay with whatever your hair, if you have fine hair, girl, be okay with that. There are benefits to having fine hair. Well, you're not sitting up here detangling for five or six hours half drunk. But I digress. <laughs> I really do appreciate that about this sister. So I support her. And again, I'm gonna be honest, Absolutely, there are other hydrolyzed wheat protein out there, I should say, that is cheaper, but I want to support her. So instead of purchasing the cheaper one, I will go ahead and continue to support her by purchasing her product, and I love it. I tend to add one or two tablespoons of this hydrolyzed wheat protein to a um, deep conditioner, and that's it. Now, I do this as needed. I feel like if you have issues with your hair, you may want to do it frankly, and she has a couple of videos surrounding how to use the protein itself okay so moving on i don't know why y'all i have kept this oyon handmade honeydew daily daily hair quenching lotion i have kept this jar i don't know why i've kept this jar for about four or five months i don't know why there's nothing in here like there's not it smells so good there's nothing in here this was oyon was again one of those companies that sent me products um, but I will honestly say that out of all of their products, I prefer this one. And what is it? Is it a sugar scrub? Sugar scrub, uh, Siler. But this honeydew onion is up there for me, in my opinion, top five leave-in conditioners. If you have now we have the Miel, yes, twisting souffle. Now I've tried nearly all of the products in the line, and this is my favorite. I absolutely love it. Um this is the consistency of pudding. There's hardly nothing there. I'm saving it, girl. I'm saving it for, for a good banging hairstyle. Um, it's the consistency of pudding. It has, it smells like shea butter in my opinion. Yeah, it smells like shea butter. Um, and I think I purchased through, this through Sally's. You guys, Sally's is getting up there. They are really, I know they had some problems with, um, who was it? They were mimicking, I'm not going to name, but they were mimicking another black owned business and they got in trouble for that. So they figured, okay, we ain't going to mimic anymore. We're just going to offer, <laughs> we're going to offer more uh, products in our store. And so I purchased a lot of these products from Sally's Beauty and Miel is an awesome styler for your hair. A little bit goes a long way. Um, flat twists, just about any style you can do with this particular twisting souffle, okay? Also purchased from Sally's, Apogee. Apogee Carrington and Green Tea Constructor. Now, this is one of the few products that I used to use while relaxed that I continue to use now that I am natural. Um, and it just gives me that extra boost to my hair and it helps to uh, maintain my health. I also use this particular spray before I blow out my hair. Um, so yeah, look into this if you're having issues with um, moisture. This helps to basically stabilize the protein, okay? All right, y'all. ORS. Now, I have a complete separate video coming up, washed it with ORS. I have about four products, including two of them I've never used before, the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner. Now, ORS Strengthen and Nourish Replenishing Conditioner infused with sweet orange oil. Now, this typically comes in those little packages like this, but girl, they ain't gonna help me. I would literally need three of these every, you know, every time I wanna use it. So, I purchased this, is it eight ounces? No, 12.25 ounces very affordable okay i think it's like six or seven bucks if you don't know by now i do not spend a lot of money on hair on hair products you guys i don't believe that you need to break the bank to have and maintain healthy hair i am not going to spend 10 15 dollars on a deep conditioner if i know that i can either do a diy 
or buy something that's more affordable if that makes sense so moving on ors replenishing conditioner oftentimes i do include this in my diy um deep conditioner i rarely use this on this own i rarely use it on i think when i first went natural i was but rarely do i do that now okay so next up we have suaves tropical coconut now this is the shampoo but honestly the conditioner is it for me the suaves coconut shampoo <laughs> the suaves tropical coconut um conditioner was all i used when i first went natural um that was my go-to uh conditioner besides the vo5 which i'm gonna get to in a minute i really do like the fact that you can spend less than three bucks for a large like this was like two dollars and some change at um walmart and it's everywhere they sell it everywhere i absolutely love this to pre-poo to detangle it has amazing slip amazing slip you know what i mean and i will be linking below uh in the cards some of my recipes for pre pills all right y'all so another gel which i don't talk about a lot i will have to say the best wash and go i have ever gotten of course i didn't film it but it was using the fantasia ic hair polisher styling gel I purchased this particular jar from Walgreens, but it's aloe, vitamin E, and wheat protein, alcohol free. So do we see a, a trend here with the gels? It seems like the alcohol free gels are not only better for our hair, but um, provide a better wash and go. So there's hardly nothing in here. I have no idea why I'm holding on to it. A light, light scent. Um, it's not as thick. I would have to say as far as thickness goes, Echo Style is thicker. Is the thickest one. Um, and then the Wetline Extreme and the Icy Fantasia, in my opinion, are the same type of consistency. So, yes, I do like the Icy Fantasia gel. You do not get flicked with this gel. Um, I did have a problem pairing this with a particular... I, I did have a problem with this particular gel, pairing it with other conditioners, but I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Can to leave and repair... We ain't gonna talk about her but that formula has changed so it's really hard for me to use that in conjunction with another gel okay as far as mousses go the lot of body wrapped me foam and mousse you can't go wrong lot of body did a remarkable job with this particular collection i know i'm referring to the coconut and shea oils collection i love the um leave-in that they have for this i don't really care for the spray it's okay and i haven't tried the gel but pairing the leave-in conditioner and i'm referring to the coconut and shea oils the leave-in conditioner with this particular mousse awesome i mean i have about three or four videos where i do a uh, permarot set and i actually have a video coming up where i will be comparing the milk and honey line with the coconut and shea oils um i have not used this for any other type of styles i primarily use sign i primarily use foaming mousse for uh perm rods but i think i have used it for flexi rods all right y'all we get down to the finish line now jane carter I love Jane Carter. I still say that I think that her, um, I can't think of the line. There was a line that Miss Erlette, healthy hairline. The healthy hairline, in my opinion, trumps her original line. But it's really hard to find those products. I even go online to the Jane Carter website every now and then, and I don't see it. And I, I don't see it on Amazon.com. So. so moving on. The Hydrate creamy leaving styling smoother it is a very when i tell you this leaving is very smooth and i like that it's so lightweight that you can layer it and not it won't feel heavy okay i'm gonna it has this nice pump that actually works um, i'm gonna give one pump look at that very creamy very nice smell very very nice um yeah so jane Carter, if y'all looking at this sis um i, I really want to get some products from your healthy hairline all right y'all we're down to the last two another very affordable drugstore uh conditioner is a rinse out conditioner is vo5's strawberry and cream with soy milk protein moisturizing conditioner i feel so bad for those of you oftentimes when i have reviewed vo5 products um a couple of you have told me that um they don't sell this particular line in your in your country and I'm, I'm so sorry girl vo5 is very affordable right now you can find them at my local walmart for 75 cents um yeah i have used just about every 
every uh, product by VO5 as far as conditioners goes. I'm not a really big fan of their shampoos, but the moisture milks, yes. I use this to um, detangle my hair, pre-poo, and of course, as a rinse out. I would literally go through one of these in a wash day because it's what, 12 ounces, and it's a very, very thin consistency, okay? All right, you guys, the last product, absolutely adore she is a fellow youtuber and this is kinky tresses coconut mango hair butter i this is an amazing styler i have several videos on this the um original product isn't in here anymore my mango leave-in is in here excuse me my mango styler is in here i love it she has sales now and then um i do like the uh leave-in conditioner with the actual styler but yeah y'all a little bit goes a long way here i've had it for a while yeah i've had this particular for a while and so let me just read off here it's made with broccoli seed oil and bamboo extracts so natural ingredients for all curl types and it's one of those stylers that because you know how sometimes a shea butter styler can be grainy it's not like that it's very smooth and yeah so that is it you guys these are 20 products that I cannot live without. Girl, some of them, look, I'm taking a survey of what's about to be done and what's empty and I need to buy some more. Um, but overall, the type of products I use change because I'm always reviewing something or I have a product coming on. But here fairly soon, I'm going to be having a more consistent regimen. And then we'll be sharing with you my very affordable natural hair regimen. When I tell you affordable, like the entire regimen will probably cost less than $15. And that includes a deep conditioner. Like I'm not, I'm not $15, $20. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.